everyone welcome back to my youtube channel eqd vlogs and the lesson that i'll be discussing via this vlog is the lesson 12 of english articles now what do you mean by articles how can you identify an article in the sentence via this vlog you will learn more about article and take note if you are new to this channel kindly like comment and share all the videos and of course never forget to hit the subscribe button so that you will be daily updated with all the needed information pertaining to english so with further ado we will start formal lesson for lesson 12 articles hold up Now, how can you identify an article? What do you mean by article? Via this vlog, you will learn more about what is article in the sentence. Don't ever forget that in English, quick tip to 12.1. That will remind you that there are only three articles in English. What are they? The a and M. Those are the three articles that you need to examine and know per sentence that you will encounter, such as these sentences. Sentence 1. Look at your screen. I bought a red car. Notice that the underlined article in sentence 1 is the article A. The listener doesn't know anything about the red car as implied in sentence one sentence two the red car was on sale notice also that there is an underlined word in sentence number two and that word is the article the in sentence two the listener knows which car the speaker is talking about. Now also remember that articles gives us information about a noun. Articles indicate whether or not a noun is a specific one known to both speaker and the listeners. Examine again the two sentences provided. Note, the is commonly called the definite article. A and N are called indefinite articles. Let me remind you again. The article the is commonly called definite article. Meanwhile, the articles a and an are called indefinite articles. Never forget that one. The definite article can be used with both singular and plural nouns, while the indefinite articles a and an are articles that can only be used with singular nouns. Look at the examples. The idea. The ideas. An apple. An apples. A revolution. A revolutions. Notice that in the given sentences, how the articles are being used. I hope you already understood how to use the three articles in the sentences. Now let us test your learnings for the day via the Test Yourself 12.1 that will instruct you to underline or determine the articles in each of the sentence that I'll be giving. A sentence, take note, may have more than one article. Sample sentence, we watched a video last night. The article word or the article being underlined in the sentence. 
is the article a. Again, there can be two or more articles per sentence. Let us proceed in testing your understanding for this lesson. Sentence 1 The last week of the month was a busy one in the store. Kindly determine what is the article in sentence 1. Sentence 2 Summer was a special time for Melissa. Can you identify the article in sentence 2? Let's proceed to sentence number 3. There's an unusual idea floating around. What's the, sen what's the article in sentence 2? Sentence 4. I turned a corner in the long hall. Again, sentence 4. I turned a corner in the long hall. Now, what is the article and sentence number 4? Sentence number 5. A dirty spoon had fallen to the floor. What is the article and sentence 5? Let's, let's move to sentence 6. In the middle of the night, I heard a strange noise. Sentence 7. Jackie turned off the road too soon. Sentence 8. Your mother's favorite actor appeared in the show we saw last night. Sentence 9. Appear is just as tasty as an apple, as far as I am concerned. And last sentence, sentence number 10, the guys bought two cans of paint, an orange one and a beige one. So everyone, I hope that you learned a lot pertaining to the topic that I'm discussing today, lesson 12, articles. Everyone, Never ever forget to comment, like, and share this video. And of course, if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe to this channel for you to learn more about the basic English that you should know so that by the moment you will go to college, it's no longer difficult for you when it comes to English, essay writing, research writing, and a lot more related to English subject. Everyone, thank you so much and happy month of August.